Before I started recording these, I had already looked into the Monarch's Journey, the first one as it appeared, but I was kind of off-put by how this was supposed to work, and I read up on it, and the ways that were outlined to achieve these were just kind of way too convoluted for me, and I don't like that, so I dropped out of it. So now we're going to go back to the roots, to the first Monarch's Journey of King Conan over in Brittany. And these are our goals. We need to control provinces. We start with 9 out of 10. Uh, we need to have a number of sons alive. The first one we have is a bastard. We'll deal with that immediately. And we need to kill members of William's dynasty. So we will restart this. So as to not to continue from the last point. We're going to go into Iron Man as is usual. We will reset the rules to be as they are and of course turn the Aztec invasion off and then we will start the game so we start over here in Brittany and as you might imagine it's not the most ideal position in the world start because again, we are just locked in between these huge empires, or well, kingdoms really, but it's not like we can do much about it. Of course we could swear fealty to one of them and just live our best life as part of a greater, or, you know, we try our best over here. So, we have a lot of sons to have and we can... Let's look through these a little bit closer. So we need to control a certain type of province, not just any, apparently. So Cornwall, we have to go over to England, Anjou, Devon, Maine, Mortain. So we have to own both British soil and French soil, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, our number of sons, this is only accomplishable with the featured ruler during their lifetime. So we have to we have to have five sons with King Conan, who is currently aged 33, which isn't all that ideal for that. And we have to kill as many of William of the Normandy's dynasty members as possible. William himself gives two points. Lovely. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we close this, we check the Duchy of Normandy, and we find William the second bastard of Normandy. So we put him as a special guy, and we put all his kids a special interest because all these we will have to follow through the ages try and hunt them down we are looking for all the Do de normandy right uh first things first we check our own focus which will very much be deduction because we need to get as many women as possible this is our first focus. If nothing else really matters, uh, we need to have as many kids as we can. And we start out with a very high intrigue as it is. So that's our best bet. We want an ambition and we go for groom and heir, which gives us another 20% fertility. So a higher chance in the next 12 years to fire many, many sons. Right. So we could legitimize him, for which we need to do something. We need to have a piety greater of 15. How do we get that? Well, the best idea quickly to do it is to buy indulgence for our sins. We don't have a lot of money, but that's okay. We can't do much with it anyway. Let's set our crown focus here. Uh, our child likes to focus and he should be a struggling one. Let's check real quick what type of succession laws we have. We cannot go for ultimogenitor. 
because we don't have the right administration. Can we switch to the right administration? We cannot. We need legalism of three. When do we get legalism of three? We are zero out of 300 points. So the first thing we need to check is we need to find out where is the highest level of legalism in the world. And it is over in this region. They are all at legalism way above three. Or probably the next best bet for us. Legalism of way above as well. So we will send our spy master to go spy over here in Byzantium. Trying to get us some tech points for cultural advances. Also what we want is not economy no let's train some troops we want cultural tech this might cost us some gold but we want to push legalism to three so we can quickly get to late administration switch our inheritance laws around what we could already do is go by seniority which isn't all that bad but we're definitely going to try and get something better. Tanistry is an interesting one. People get to nominate from the members of the ruler's dynasty. So it's a little bit like elective, mo elective monarchy, except only people from your dynasty are eligible for it. It is better. It is better. To have this than Gavelkind. Because we lose all of the titles. They would get broken up. So we could create all these titles, which we're definitely not going to do. Because first of all, we are a duke ourselves. Having further duchies would just completely shatter us as a realm. So let's find some of these men. We'll just put all our accounts there. Perfectly fine. What is this? Bastard of our dynasty. Court tutor. Somebody be that girl. Now let's check our court real quick. What women do we have? She is 16. We'll definitely go and seduce her immediately. Before we find a wife, we want to legitimize Alan Mab Conan. Because if we legitimize having a wife already, then that wife will be quite upset with us for doing that. They don't like it if you legitimize your bastards. I don't think it really matters if it happens after they're gone, but we'll see. So... We'll go slow. We'll be mine. We also have a few claims here. This one in particular on the Duchy of Normandy. And they're already at war. They're attacking King Harold II of England in the Norman Conquest. Okay, glory to God. We got the piety that we need so now we can legitimize adam and thus we have a legit heir and now we can go find ourselves a wife and who better than the holy roman empire to look for for a woman because they do have some options here however all of them are celibate except for her so that is not ideal it's neat for an alliance, but it's definitely not a good idea if you actually want to, you know, have children still. We also don't look for a betrothal. Let's see how we can go further. They're all really old. Maybe Scotland has something for us. Doesn't look like it. 
We could look towards... Maybe... See, let's check the realm tree of Germany. Rather, the Holy Roman Empire. Duchess of Tuscany. She doesn't have a husband. She's quite young and she's not celibate. But she doesn't like it. She wants a matrilineal marriage. I can't be helped. Do you have someone to marry to us? Or someone old enough? No. We'll check anyway. Next one is this one. We already see he doesn't have anything. So not in Germany. Maybe in Castile. Does have some siblings. Are unmarried but also quite old. We need younger siblings. He has a whole bunch of them. 21. 20. He is the youngest. The Princess of Navarra. Some boy in schema. See. Ah, there we go. We would get a non-aggression pack with Castile. Let's real quick check how strong Castile is. Not a very. Do you have something stronger down here? Yes, we do. Several options. Do you have someone interesting? Oh no, we checked him. He doesn't really have anything. So let's check through a few duchies down here again. Also not looking great. Maybe the British Suffolk. Oh, we probably have to go toward York. That's where the power is in England. And they... Well, no. Okay. So we're not finding anything real well acceptable here. So we have a few... Princess of the Empire of Rus. Princess of Hungary's. That's not bad. She's not bad. Fertility plus 15%. That's pretty decent. See if we can't find someone closer at hand. Navarra, we looked at her, I think. We did not. The Danish. How strong is Denmark currently? 3,000. How strong is Sweden? 3,000. How strong is Norway? 16,000. Well, 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 well. And you have a lot of eligible women to choose from. Now, the only question is, is he willing to give one of them up? Fertility plus 5%. Both of them would be a fine option. Would be better. Uh, no. Why not? The other one? No, he is not willing to give us either. Which is quite the shame. <clears throat> so let's look at his realm tree. The strongest vassal. Ah yes, William de Normandy. <laughs> of course. Well, we could form a few alliances apparently already without even having any marriage ties. So let's form the alliances that we can. As we can form them. Maybe there's more? No? That's interesting. Definitely don't want an alliance with him. Maybe with Brugge? No. Okay, so we go by the marriage selection here. The Empire of Rus is just... Hungary isn't very strong, generally speaking. But we'll do it anyway. Let's go for it. Uh, oops. Why all of a sudden the Empire of Rus? Eh, uh, There we go. 
Princess of Hungary. And we will definitely take her because she has a 15% fertility and I don't think there's much better out here. Denmark. Ah, Hungary it is. And her it shall be. Oh, it's a non-aggression pack with this thing. Not the Kingdom of Hungary. Not very strong. But they might be of the same house. Oh, she's decent. Let's stop trying to find fault at our decision here. <clears throat> Go for another tactic with a woman. All right, we got one alliance up with the Duchy of Champagne. And I think, yes, it's definitely everyone's concern. Form an alliance with him too. And what we're going to do, I believe, is we're going to swear fealty to France. King Philippe of France. So we can attack him. Given that we have a claim on him and he is currently waging war against England, which he might just lose. He might. We'll go ahead. Wear fealty to France. You don't need to be independent for this. And there we go. He has graciously accepted. What other pacts do we have that we might get an alliance out of? On. Let's see if we can't get some non-aggression pacts at home. Doesn't look like it. Not important right now anyway. So now that we're within France, we can declare war to claim Normandy. And we had at least the Duke of Champagne joining us. Now we just need a few more allies. Maybe our dear son can secure us. Just such an alliance. No, why not? Matrilineal marriage. Oh, we can't really help you with that. Maybe we can get one here. Nope. Let's see who we can get for him from this screen. Another Hungarian. Princess of Denmark. Busk. Where exactly? I think it's somewhere in Spain, but I might just showing my ignorance here. Um, the Welch. Ah, uh, there are some French girls. Burgundy. Duke Robert the Old. Burgundy is not all that small. I think Burgundy is over here, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't see the crest anywhere. Maybe somewhere around here. So... Okay, that is them. Where are you at? I mean, it's a very distinctive coat of arms. Where is it? 
Visible confusion. Where are you? Ah, there. I'm sorry, 1000. Huh. He would be great ish. Uh, let's go for Dijon. Fine. Better than nothing is what it is. So let's... Ah, I hate it when I accidentally right click. Where I wanted to left click. Okay, you give us that one. She's three, he's nine. That's fine. That's another non-aggression pact within France. And probably another alliance for us. Nope. Doesn't like us all that much. What do you want? You want us to be a steward? Sure, we will be a steward. We are really bad at that though. Good. Okay. So, first things first. We start killing kids. He himself is very worthwhile in terms of points, but people are not very interested in killing him. So let's kill off his kids first. Those should be a bit easier to do. Yeah, a little bit. Plus, we can just send our spy master to. Do the thing that I told him to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we support the harvest stuff. So as we can see, the, the British have already shored up their army. As he is attacking. Oh no, that is his army. So he has 12,000, 14,000 men. We have a grand total of 1,300 and something. We will just chip away at his ch kids. There, he is engaging the British army. And I feel like England is losing that one a little bit hard. Yes, let's seek to make her our lover. Virtue sadly is strong in her. We will not be able to take over Normandy quickly. You are erudite, paranoid and greedy. So we should quote love, love poetry and see how it works. Nope, also not the right move. She likes us really well. He's attracted to us. Why is this not happening? Okay, so what happened is... Uh, our friend William over here he has won. And now this piece of... Is a piece of England, since he has won the crown of England. Powerful stuff, powerful stuff. Now he is quite strong, but mainly due to his holdings in Normandy. And because of the event spawn troops. Which should hopefully go away soon. Okay, let's make a lewd suggestion. What would you try before? Confess our love. Maybe this works. Ah, there we go. Let our love grow. Yes, perfect. We want boys. Lots of lots of boys. All legitimate boys. 
Let's check our court real quick. We only have her there. So either we go ahead and make our own little lovers or we seek the world to find us women who are willing to join our court at a young impressionable age. You come here. She's lustful. She des definitely needs to come here. There's going to be a lot of come hither in this one. She's a falconer, but she's old. Okay, we we're going to bring in all the young girls, which sounds about as bad as it is. Let's bring in all the young girls. Right. Our wife is definitely not going to be suspicious about that. You accept that the seduction begin then. All of these lovely girls <laughs> flocking to our court. They don't know what's waiting for them. They just have no idea. Ah, uh, sadly, the lustful one cannot come. She is married. So his event spawn troops are still there. But overall, he's pretty weak. Our wife will hate the ever-loving hell out of us. So she has come to the stream and she's a charismatic negotiator. She's trusting and stubborn. So let's say she's a naive romantic and we will let our love grow. Perfect. And we have gained the lustful trait, which is just, you know, kind of appropriate. Right, our court is filled with pretty young ladies who all need a proper seduction. <laughs> Uh, nope, these are all already our little doves. Let's make it real creepy. I'm gonna come a little bit closer here. Okay, okay, let's make it real creepy right now. So we need a bunch more of our little doves, yes. Call them to roost. Yes. All right, <laughs> let our love grow. That's the next one. And the next one. This can grow quite far. That's, that's just fine. Sadly, we're Christian, so we don't really get to do all the good stuff. Catch us new women. But that's how this is going to be, I suppose. There's an interesting crest. What is that on there? I wish there was a larger version of it. Oh well. <laughs>